Hi everybody. I know my videos are usually flight footage with just a little bit of vlog thrown in, but building is something that I really enjoy and it's kind of half of the hobby, so I wanted to take a minute to show you what I've been working on for the past couple months. Here you've got my dedicated Reaper Stretch Racer. I built a Chameleon in October when there was rumor that a version was coming out with detachable arms. Then once it had a name and it had titanium and it had a stronger carbon fiber mixture, I thought, okay, I gotta do it. And if I'm gonna do one, I might as well do two. I've got a lot of 3D printed parts. I know it makes it a little bit heavier, but I like having the bumper here. I notched it so the camera would sit directly on the standoff. I've got 3D printed mounts for the motors, which are great because they really prevent them from getting messed up. I used to always run Lumineer motors because they're super smooth, but I had to switch to these hype trains after burning up three motors in three weeks. I was just done. Uh, I've got Speedix 32-bit ESCs, a Betaflight F4, and then just above that in the stack, I've got a blank plate with my TBS Unify Pro HV SMA. And by doing that, thanks Brian, it opens up a whole lot of room in the back to be able to put my receiver and cap and have my XT60 XT lead come directly out of the back, which is awesome because I don't have anything hanging. Um, I've got a stubby antenna. And then my favorite little trick that I did on this build, instead of making these two antennas separate with 3D printed mounts and extra screws and all that, I took one antenna, bent it in half with the heat gun, and I fixed it with a, re you know, a heavy-duty strap. So really, it took, turned a lot of little pieces into kind of one big piece. These little tips here are even hot glued in, so there is just no, there's no hurting that. You can't tear those off with vice grips, I don't think. Anyway, that's what I've been doing. Let's go fly.